So I am coming at you guys today with a fabulous Dollar Tree haul. And not only do I have a Dollar Tree haul, but I have some other exciting things. A lot of you were very interested in seeing my Dollar Tree recipe dupe of the Taco Bell cheesy crunchy gorditas that I had for my Mother's Day dinner yesterday. So I quickly threw together some film of Bill fixing that. So I'm going to share that with you all too. Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome. So as you can see, we have a lot of ground to cover. So we're going to jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. What do you say? Let's go. This item I just had to pick up. Look at this beautiful mermaid. Again, I love how she's not like cartoony or childish. Look at the scales on the tail. Her hair just floating out on the ocean water. She is on a piece of twine, which they've made it easy enough to remove if you don't want that. And she's holding a gorgeous little starfish. So just beware that um, she is holding this. So if you're looking for this item in the store, it's, I did notice that some of them were missing the little starfish. So just make sure you grab a mermaid that's holding the starfish. And this, even though it was in the coastal shore, or the coastal living area, as you see here, it is just labeled Crafters Square. It's a Greenbrier product, but I think absolutely beautiful. Now, when I saw this box of brand new ribbon, I just had to pick this up. Look at this gorgeous roll of ribbon. It is nine feet, which equals three yards. So that is enough to make yourself a good size bow. And to me, it just screams old New England, 4th of July summer parade, the kind that I marched in as a young girl, as a brownie and a Girl Scout, and then in elementary, junior, and high school years as a member of my um, local band, marching band. So I just thought it was so precious. I had to get it. I love the burlap look of the background. And this looks like it is painted on. Just gorgeous. And that's what the label looks like. So it is just labeled Patriotic Ribbon. It is a Greenbrier product. So they had this out in all of the 4th of July section at my Dollar Tree. But I am in love with this, let me tell you. And now I'm thinking maybe I should have grabbed a second roll because this would look gorgeous on my front door also. Now, if you saw these in my walkthrough, I bet you're not surprised that I brought them home. And it is these 12 plates. I love the square shape of them. And the popsicles, don't they just look so summery and delicious? Very refreshing. And then you have all the fruit slices around the border of the plate. Um, and I know I talk about paper plates being safe for microwave and not, so just be warned. This is a set of paper plates that is not safe for the microwave. And I think it has to do with the coating and the print on it. And um, because we have had them, they turn like brown, they actually start to burn. So just don't use these decorative plates in the microwave. The Dollar Tree does sell the basic white ones, which I've hauled for you all plenty of times, those packs of 40 that are definitely the type of paper plate you want to use if you're uh, reheating leftovers in the microwave on a paper plate. But I just thought these are so beautiful just to treat myself to eat on in the summer. Um, they are actually surprisingly quite sturdy. And they had some other designs, but this print is a brand new one to me this year. And they also had it on a flannel backed like party tablecloth that said, um, I believe it said sweet summertime. So just gorgeous. 
And then I want to share these two products by Crown Jewels. That is a woman-owned company. It's a line that the Dollar Tree has had in my area for quite some time, and they put out fabulous stationary items. Look at this. This is a fitness goals journal. I love my list, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick this journal up and it will help me meet some of my goals. But what I really like about this is that it comes with a grocery list. It has your monthly goals, your meals you can put in here, your fitness. So all different things. It's not dated, so if you are feeling ambitious, you can just pick one of these spreads, you know, the start of the week, and get to work. And write down, plan your meals, your grocery lists of what you need to pick up, what type of fitness you want to fit in, what you do. So I just really loved that. I love the design of the cover. So I picked that one up. And this definitely was an impulse buy. It was right up by the register in a box along with this one by Crown Jewels. And look at the beautiful daisies and the rainbows there. And now this one on the inside actually has things that you can do meal tracker fit tracker also um, so very similar to the other one it does have a section in the back for notes there's grocery lists in here but the cover uh, is just plain. You see it does not actually say that it's a fitness journal on it. But I thought these were something different, something fun. And with summer fast approaching, I'm going to try to motivate myself a little bit more to get back onto my fitness track. So I thought, Oh, I love lists that maybe these would help encourage me because then I can check things off as I complete them, which I love to do, and that really does motivate me. All right, now I am going to jump right into sharing the Mother's Day Taco Bell Dollar Tree version of the Crunchy Cheesy Gorditas. I hope you enjoy it, guys, because let me tell you, they are are scrumptious. So excuse the mess guys because I was not expecting to film. Not that it's ever neat. But so this is the recipe I said we were going to make for Mother's Day. Bill is cooking it for me. So this is what he uses to do our own homemade taco seasoning. Yeah start off with three uh, teaspoons of chili. And then you go to two uh, teaspoons of ground paprika, uh, cumin, and then garlic powder is just a teaspoon. And then uh, like an eighth of a teaspoon, but I used a quarter of cayenne pepper. I made a sauce in along with the uh, uh, seasonings. All and right, so all that's together. something I've never done. I myself, when I make it, I don't use the Hunt's tomato sauce. So we'll see. This is what the meat looks like. This is does brown it turkey. smell spicy? Yeah, that smells very spicy. I put in some mm, shallots because I didn't have onion powder. That's the missing ingredient. Okay. All right. All right, so now what we're going to do, because this is my um, dupe of a Taco Bell recipe, is those cheesy, crunchy gorditas. So I told you guys all, I got the Del Barrio soft shells at the Dollar Tree. We get the hard shells at the Dollar These Tree. These are the best uh, shells out there. No sodium, and they taste uh, very good. And the Velveeta cheese sauce. And then over there on the counter, we also have the uh, paste picante. So I obviously we didn't get our meat at the Dollar Tree, um, but I do believe they sell some form of uh, meat there if you really needed it. So now uh, let me show you what we're going to do next. All right, and the must-have ingredient, if you're a member of our household, is the cheese. So Bill, 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 he's like, is that enough cheese? <laughs> no way. I personally would spread a stick of cheese. So what's that, like eight ounces yeah, uh, in a stick? Yeah, at least... 
Well, that's all right. It's a stick of cheese. Yeah, eight ounces. Yeah, an eight ounce stick of cheese you want to shred up because, you know, I like my crunchy, cheesy gorditas nice and cheesy. And in mine, I also use my Breckenridge Farm jalapeno slices that I also pick up at the Dollar Tree on the regular. All right, so we put the tortilla down, squeeze some Velveeta on it, spread it around now with the knife. Got the any more? Uh, no, that's good. Now get uh, you go. Please get the hard taco shell. You'll do this. Bill, do that. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. <laughs> Why am I in the kitchen? <laughs> All right, and now I'm gonna put a little cheddar cheese and we're going to do ours in the air fryer but you could put these all together and do them in a frying pan all right you got to put the cooked meat in there all right that's plenty of meat you can lay it down just lay it down Lay, lay it down. down, lay it down like that. Now fold this over it. All right, and it's gonna um, now put more cheese in there. And just we're gonna like squeeze it together and we're gonna put them in the air fryer kind of stacked. Okay. All right, so these are what they look like. Now you obviously could put lettuce, tomato, onion. Anything that typically goes in a taco uh, also. So we are going to cook these two first in the air fryer, and then we'll show you what they look like. But um, you can do them in as big as batches as your air fryer will hold. So this is what ours looks like. We could probably comfortably do three, but we're just going to do two. All right, so here they are out of the air fryer. You can see all melted, delicious cheesiness. So you could add your toppings here, whatever you would like. Um, and you are good to go for a delicious Taco Bell dupe of a meal done with the Dollar Tree ingredients. <music> joining me today everybody i truly appreciate each and every one of you and remember until next time please be well